Hi there, this is Magical Marlena. And today, we wanna discuss for just a few minutes about our reality and how we can change our own destiny by questioning it, okay? I was sitting here the other night after one of my live calls and just, you know, relaxing and a thought went through my mind. How do I keep my joy, right? And I just sat there for a few minutes and I thought, I can keep my joy because I truly keep my own power. So when you keep your own power, you don't let no one else take it from you, then you can keep your joy, your peace, your happiness, and your strength, and your own energy. Never give your energy or power away to anyone else. You will know when you do it, when they take your peace, when they take your joy through a conversation or an action, okay, or a reaction that you have towards what they did or did not do. Um, you know, you got a disappointment, you lost your power, okay? So we wanna get it back, correct? Yes. Um, I will be putting underneath the video my recent link to um, allow you to listen to the awesome replay and also, you know, jump in on the group calls that we're going to be having starting on the 10th of this month, all right? Even if you're watching this video way beyond the date of the live call, you can still grab the package and um, a session with me. That link will definitely be underneath this video for you and your friends. So please share this channel with people. Now, what I want to talk about right now is reality. Whose beliefs are we actually living in? Okay, think about that. Where did we get it that we could not be happy unless we had this? Think about that. <clears throat> Who taught us? that we could not be happy in our lives unless it went exactly this way, right? <clears throat> and then we got to think about where they got it from. So we got to question reality by asking ourselves, whose reality are we actually living in and experiencing right now? Hmm. Think about it right? Are you mimicking your mom, your dad, both, right? Somebody in your family. So that's what we're talking about today. All right. <clears throat> so if they couldn't be happy unless this, we learned that and we adapted it into our belief system as well. So when we, you know, Pinpoint that thing that is peeing us off, upsetting us, causing us grief, okay, or, you know, see the pattern, okay, that's when we can actually question it. Where did I get this from that this would bother me too? Or why does that bother me so much when they do this or don't do that, right? And once you can actually question that, and say, hmm, all right, now we can change your destiny, all right, and change your experience with that situation. So it becomes like less energetic to you. It does not even want to come around you because it doesn't bother you anymore, okay? So we're going to work on that in the um, package that I'm offering and in the group calls, okay? They're gonna be every other week. I'm gonna start um, March 10th at 4 p.m. And right now it is the 7th of March, 2021. A beautiful day to experience sunshine in your life and joy in your life, no matter what's going on. My uncle gave me a great example one day and I wanna share it with all of you right now, okay? He was going through a time in his life of terrible anxiety attacks over a um, bill. All right. And um, 
you know, at a point in his life when he had um, peace, suddenly he was um, going through anxiety attacks. And he wasn't used to anxiety because he was always a, a strong guy and the big man in the family who, you know, took care of everybody else. So he came to me to tell me the story and I thought it was really awesome. All right, so his roommate uh, took over the um, brand new vehicle and used it, okay, and um, broke it all apart, okay, without a care, and um, <clears throat> decided that he wasn't going to uh, make the payments anymore, and he didn't tell my uncle either. So <clears throat> my uncle finds out by phone calls and letters that we're coming to take your brand new vehicle, and it's going to ruin your credit, not his, okay. So apparently they had a little, you know, blowout there, and um, then my uncle was having anxiety attacks, you know, about the whole thing because he kept mulling it over in his head over and over and over and over, okay, as we all, you know, find ourselves doing randomly. So we got to learn to stop doing that with this. So as he's standing in his kitchen one day having that terrible, you know, mind chatter going on and the entities attacking him with anxiety attacks terribly, um, he heard an audible voice say, who cares? right out loud, who cares? And he was like, I care because of this, you know, you know what he did. So he's having an argument with God or with spirit, angel, I don't know. Um, <laughs> and so that went on for an hour. And the second time the voice said, I said, who cares? When he started the mind shatter again <laughs> and the anxiety and the heart's racing and he's sweating and this and that. And um, the phone's ringing and everything, and he's holding a bill in his hand about, you know, they're coming to get it. Um, they're going to charge him this amount, whatever. <clears throat> so the third time the voice came, it shook his body at the same time. All right, because it's very strong um, when it's, you know, trying to get your attention. So <laughs> it said... I said to you, who cares? Really loud. So he stopped in his tracks because his body shook. It woke him up to question that reality. And he said, you're right. Who cares? And the anxiety attack stopped immediately. The entities let go. His whole um, mindset shifted to who cares. So he picked up the phone. And he called the car company and said, come and get the car. I don't care. Now, <laughs> they did not come and get that car. They kept threatening and threatening and threatening. This is what, you know, entities do. They threaten, threaten, threaten. So we get sweating. And, um, you know, that's what they used to do to our family members. All right. So anyway, um, he kept calling them week after week after week after week. And he said to them, um, look, you come and get it today. I'm opening the gate and be here between this time and that time or else don't even bother at all. And that's what he did. He took back his power. All right. And it changed his destiny. All right. When he took back his power, they backed off. Okay, so what our vid video is about today is taking back our power. So whatever area in your life, or there may be several, that you have been mulling over and over and over and, you know, either complaining or confused about it or going through anxiety attacks, panic attacks, being awake all night over something, I want you to try that little um, test today when it starts happening again out loud say who cares and see what happens for you I'd really like to hear from you um, on this because I've done it and it does work okay and I add laughter with it because that's a good way to shift your energy is to add your joy back how do we keep our joy right when the reality of our experience is whatever that is, right? And that's how we're going to keep our joy. We're going to say, who cares? Okay? 
and I want you to try it. Just experiment with this, okay? When the nasty thought comes up, when a nasty person just called you, when your family did something 25 years ago, <laughs> when somebody leaves your life, who cares? Who cares? It will change your destiny. It will stop that from happening to you, okay? And to your wee ones, children, grandchildren, all right? We want to change their destiny so that they don't have to have that in their life either. So let's try that together as an experiment, okay? And you can write underneath the video if this has helped you in any way. I'd really like to hear from you. Um, and share the video so that we can, you know, um, spread the love, spread the peace. That's what we're trying to do is bring some joy back into people's, you know, life, all right? Because we were, you know, um, programmed to believe that we can only have joy when. And they basically laid it out before us, okay? By TV and radios and things that we heard in our family, you know, um, outside in reality, even in school, you know, <laughs> we learned that, um, you know, we were happy when, and we could fill in the blanks, okay? All of us have those belief systems, and they're still floating around until we say, who cares? That is not mine right? And we take back our power. Now it's going to take a little bit of training, of course, right? And we are, you know, uh, angels in training. Let's put it that way. So you'll see my new website underneath the video, the audibleangels.com. It does have the slash there too <clears throat> that must be put in. Um, so you can get to that website. I'm still building on it. So bear with me here. Um, also, you know, check out the link underneath, directly underneath the uh, video here so that you can go listen to my awesome replay and take part in the um, group calls with me. And if you need a session, that link's in there too. Uh, very reasonable, all right? It's um, $300 on my websites, okay? So you're getting a great deal. You are going to experience a change in your destiny, okay? So... Take part in the energy experience here. Go watch my other videos on this channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Put a thumbs up. When you put a thumbs up on a video such as this, you are exchanging to the universe, okay? My thumb is up, my energy's up. That will bring you something back from the universe that is a thumbs up. So, you know, they have something um, like a blessing for your life in that manner. So when we bring our energy up in any manner, including our thumbs going up, saying, you know, thumbs up, then the universe responds to that energy, all right? I want you to think about that now, all right? And we will be talking real soon. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.